Are there any prisoners here with us? Oh, sounds from back over on that side. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stand over here then. Can you give us a sign that you're here with us? It all started with a video game. Oh God, no! Oh, I'm running! I'm running! I'm springing! I'm springing! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are, just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. Welcome back to part two of the historic Fauquier County Jail investigation. I'm T. I'm Phil. We have a lot more investigating ahead and we are also trying out a new style with immersive clips. We're still gonna have the couch commentary. We can't have old spirits and not have couch commentary. That's gonna always happen. But we wanna hear from you. We wanna know what you think. So please make sure to drop us a comment. And while you're there, like and subscribe to the channel because all that support, the likes and the subs and the comments, that really helps us out here at Old Spirits. So now we have reached the old jail section, which has the original 1823 jail on the floor. Yep. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we noticed was it was kind of quiet in there. And in the 1823 in the eight, jail. I'm getting to that, yes, okay. in the 1823 part. <laughs> but then there was this extremely steep staircase that might as well have been a ladder. Yeah, yeah. And that took yes. us into maximum security. And I will say this about the staircase. Yeah. Going up it was not as harrowing as, as going, going down. As going down, especially when you're carrying gear. Yes. Oh my god, that was that was terrifying. That was that was truly terrifying. That's, yes. <laughs> but right behind that experience of carrying gear down that steep ladder slash staircase was maximum security on a whole. And there were two sections to it. Mm. There was there was the old maximum security and yeah. then there was the New and improved maximum right. security, which is a, a an exhibit underway. This was where the Fauquier Historic County Jail came to play. And I would say, I would hazard to say that since we've been doing this, we have not had a location that's had us going back and forth that like our nuts. heads were cut off. That it, was it nuts. was it was very very. You'll, very you'll get an idea of yeah. You'll get an idea yeah, what Phil is talking about as we get into it. But so as you can see, this is a this was a very difficult area to yeah, shoot it was. because there were two cells inside a cage with a little walkway around yeah, it. It was tight. It was very tight. And on top of all that, we had this odd Clark Gable mannequin yes. in the other cell, which I was waiting for that thing to do something straight out of a Doctor Who episode. Uh, it, it really was a, a bizarre setup. And that mannequin startled me, not once, but twice. Numerous times. I knew times. it was there. Yeah. And I knew it was there. We all knew it was there. still made me jump. Yeah. So, let's get back into this let's investigation. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. 
That's your portal making that sound, that boom, 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 boom. It's making a, almost like a mobile phone interference sound right now. Like that? That's your portal? Yeah, I've never heard it do that. Before. No, me neither. Holy shit. Alright. Yeah, the K2s were nuts. Yeah, there's some okay, weird stuff. Team, we are on our final stop, which is solitary confinement. I have a REM pod and my and my Eddie in the improved cell. But I'm going into the old going to the old jail right now. Do a quick, quick look at chat, see where they are. Okay. Signal still coming in and out. That's a bit disappointing, but not to be unexpected. Okay, I'm going in. Got an. There it goes again. What? K2. K2? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn it, Phil, why'd you lock this? <laughs> what, what? You locked the, you oh, locked your... tripod, so it doesn't lock super tight. Jeez. Like, it. Yeah, but man, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a video of the, there we go. Oh. oh. We're just gonna go on ahead, we're gonna go quiet. If there's anything you'd like to tell us, or anything you'd like to share, we are listening.
I've heard that. If there's uh, someone out there in the cell area, or maybe one of our neighbors, can you knock really loud to let us know that you're here with us? I swear to God, if that mannequin sticks a hand out and waves, I am f***ing done. <laughs> <laughs> I am f***ing done. So as I was saying, <laughs> if, you, if our neighbor and the cells are here, if you could, uh, if you're making some noise, if you could knock really loud, you're blinding me on purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you say about keeping me in the moment? Yeah, turn that shit off. So. <laughs> Sense. Yeah, I'm in my sense. All right, I'm gonna knock and then you knock back. That's what I'm working on. I mm -hmm. the voice. It's already marked. It's already marked. All right. Thanks. Thanks for that. This is supposed to be the uh, life of the incarcerated. This is the life of the incarcerated. Yeah, and it's supposed to be showing the improvements, I guess. I'm gonna try to get close to a window just to see if that I'm gets the... I'm gonna grab the portal. Just to see if that gets... All the light is in here. What's that? Holy What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> what? Uh, you said, holy f I thought you were in trouble. I went to move, and I, and I forgot I was attached to the camera. Well, the, K, the K2 is going off like gangbusters back there. In the okay. Dark. I'm coming. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wow. <sighs> Listen. Someone here? Jesus, which Christ did that mannequin? Market, whisper. That was me. 1130, T. Morris. <laughs> camera in there. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! I just saw a hope. Did I get that on camera? Nice. I did. Congrats. I did. Uh, the um, This just spiked to five. Wow. That spiked to five. Yeah, we're going to allow the EMF activity. I'm going to go grab... I'm going to yeah. grab the Paratech. Do you want me to go with you or are you good? 
Yes, I feel like I need to adjust in this hallway. <laughs> okay, I know you're there. You're not scared me anymore. All right, I'm just coming around the corner. Paratech said civilian. What did it say? Civilian. Also, that K2 just went off. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to grab my other red pod out of this room. You grabbing the Paratech? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab the... I'll grab the uh, I'll grab the pot out of here. Yeah. Thanks, Clark. Good Lord, what's going on? Yeah. Water's down here. What's, the, what's the blinking red light mean? That it's recording? No. It's basically saying there's a there's a basic pulse of an EMF like you. Like, uh, like, you know, at one. I see. It's, it doesn't really matter until it gets up to like two, which is actually two and, two and a half. I'm gonna put yeah, this one right here. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. That just spiked up to red to a single red, which is the equivalent of a, that's a 7.5 hit right there. Okay, Phil and T, Life of the Incarcerated. Oh, I'm not even recording, I'm just talking. <laughs> it's the exhibit, it's the exhibit in, uh, Hold on. All right, here we go. it's the exhibit that's uh, currently underway. And right now I know that, this, that the, 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 um, the stream is probably a little dicey. Phil and Tini upstairs, life of the incarcerated. So just bear with us. We're trying to get the best signal possible. Can you make that go red? You put it all the way up to uh, yellow, and you did red once before. Can you do it again? Are there any prisoners here with us? Oh, sounds from back over on that side. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stand over here then. Can you give us a sign that you're here with us? Jesus. Oh. Effective. <laughs> that was. Did we rest? This, this thing is just going nuts, though. Alright, I'm going to turn this light off. Push it all the way up to red if you can. Yeah, it's been, this has been, it's like it's, it's going, it's, it's making a last minute push. Although the REM pods have been really quiet, the, uh, you know, it's funny, the spikes. You know, those kids I got on the REM pod tonight were, were like just chatting and getting set I know, up. right? All right. That's fine. Which is fine. <laughs> well, we got some, we got some noise. Okay. All right. Lights coming on. Uh, I guess it's the TikTok people might want to come with us. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Chat, keep an eye and an ear out. This is, um, looks like we've got the string back. And the, um, that right there is, uh, that's Edison going off. He's picking up a lot of action on the, uh, on the EMF scale. So. Oh, 
That was a red. You got a red? I got a red. Okay. Do you, I'll just go back there a little bit. It's fine. What's that? I said I'll just go back there a little No, 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 I'll go with you. It's all right. No, 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 I'll go with you. It's all right. No, 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 I'll go with you. It's all right. It's just interesting how the... <laughs> you realize it has this running back and forth. Yeah, back yeah. Forth. It's probably just laughing its ass off. Just out of curiosity. You want to go that way? Okay, now I just got him. Okay, now I just got him. Okay, now I just got him. Blast of cold walk walking in here. There's no way that could be the... Uh -huh. Air conditioning. Do you not want to answer our questions anymore tonight? I just feel like they... I felt like they were just effing with us. Yeah. And then they're like, okay. We have our, we have our fun. You can look. Gleaning. Gleaning. A yeah. lot yeah. of movement yeah. there. The, th this was one of the most active places I think we've ever had such... Uh, the yeah, the only other place I remember that kind of movement or, or, ever, or even getting a hint of that that much movement was the one we just did at the time of this filming, the old hospital. In yeah, College and I'll Hill. say too, Candy Factory had a fair amount of movement as well, but I would hazard to say we have not experienced movement sounds Nothing to like this that. level. Nothing like that. So much so that... We, we, and again, just to reiterate, there were no... There, they, they were... There was no one else there. Um, there was no one no. in that building. Not even in the same building. Not on no. the not on the lower floor. No. And this was a pretty well-kept space. Yeah, there are no space. signs of animals. Right. I mean, it's... It's, it's, a, it's a museum, and so they take special care to make... Sure, there's. I'm sure, no wildlife running around. Well, they have. They have a lot of. They have a lot of valuable artifacts, yeah. and and mm -hmm. it's just a. It, it it's a prized possession yeah. of the historical society of yeah. Fauquier County. Yeah. However, yes, I'm just going to come out and say it. I got touched. This is a um, a perfectly fine, clean ish cell. Yeah. But there Clean were no adjacent. cobwebs. There, <laughs> no there, cobwebs there, there, there was nothing. They take good care of this property. And yet when I walked by that cell, I felt just something go whoosh along yeah. my arm. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All mm -hmm. right. We're back at we're mm -hmm. back at Blackburn again. Yeah. Thank you. And um, yeah. And then, of course, we had the K2 going absolutely bonkers. The only time I've seen it go anywhere near as bonkers was at the Jenny Wade house. Phil, your thoughts on the uh, EMF spike? Came to play. Came to play. <laughs> Came to play. And, and it's customary for, at least for us at Old Spirits, we'll do an initial sweep of an area. And we'll know any you know, EMS F fluctuations and we'll look to get a baseline. And earlier when we did our setup, I mean, the space was flat. Very flat, yeah. very flat, very quiet. And as you saw, the device was nowhere near anything metal, not even the bed frame. It's not, it's not close enough to the bed mm -hmm. frame to set mm -hmm. it off. And the, the best thing I think about the spikes is that instead of you bringing it closer to something that could set it off, whatever's setting it off has to come to it. Right. So right. if it was somewhere, right. if there was something that was setting it off, it would just be constantly hitting one, one, yes, one. Yes, yes. But you yes, notice this is going right. one. Five, right. two point five, five. Right. These 2. are 5. fluctuations, it's fluctuating left and yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, 
and not on a normal basis mm -hmm. like in like you would have normal electromagnetic mm -hmm. frequencies happening in your everyday life right. this is just going right. up and down right. up and down mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. whatever it is it's coming to the device itself so yeah. i to think get that's this crap also, off my bed exactly <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday and Merry Christmas, Phil. <laughs> it's like Christmas in the summertime. I know, right? Um, I mean, this was my gift to you. Yeah. This was me and Pip saying thank you for taking us on this journey. Mazel tov, all the all of the above. I mean, and I just want to make I want to make sure that the first takeaway we got from this was it worth it? Was it worth the wait? Did you enjoy yourself? It was worth being born, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was just a fun night of investigating and it was so just unexpectedly busy and mm -hmm. it just was great and it i was think great. also i think also we we found out how tough it has become to just do a two-man investigation just the two of us it felt great yeah. don't get me wrong that was another takeaway i was like man it's been a long time yeah, since it was just fun. been me and me it and was Phil. it was fun but i think because uh just our technical approach to investigation, mm -hmm. uh, our ambition for what experiments we want to conduct on an investigation. Hit hard, and footage, hit fast. And the, yeah, we yeah. wanna, and the footage we want to get, yeah. we are, it's not a two-man shot. It's not a two, want. no. I mean, and it's important that we have friends like the Ghoulie Girls along. Mm -hmm. It's really important to have the Ghost Wives there. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about on 5-Minute Paranormal ways to keep um, collaborations moving well because... At the week of this filming, we collaborated with West Virginia Paranormal and Dark Hollow Paranormal mm -hmm. for a phenomenal night at the old hospital on College Hill. Mm -hmm. And I think it's worth talking about. And I think it's I think it's worth going into some of the details of how do you keep things flowing and the importance of collaborations and working with other yeah. people and you know, working yeah. beyond the two man. Two man was still fun. You know, that that's, two that's still definitely fun. a takeaway. Absolutely. Now, mm. And I think <laughs> And so one final takeaway for me, it, I think if the pace was just a few notches lower, it, it wouldn't have felt so intense as a two minutes. Yeah, that's true. But it just, it just kept on ramping up as the night went on. Very true. But we kept up. But you know what we did discover about the historic Fauquier County Jail? You haunted. And I had a blast. My biggest takeaway from the entire experience is never underestimate a space. Never. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what it, now, did I find that there was anything malicious or dark? And I know they were they were trying to ramp it up at the, at the, at the jail. They were trying to say, yeah. oh yeah, there's just one. I didn't find the, whatever was in Mac's security to necessarily be dark. No. Now, was he, did he want to mess with us? Yes. Did he want to, did did, yeah. did whatever was there want to keep us on our toes and go, hey, I'm making noise over here. Yeah. Now I'm making noise over here. Yeah. Now I'm making noise over here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I did feel like we were getting messed yeah, with. Yeah, it was, it was it was a ribbing, well-intentioned ribbing, maybe not. I don't know. But I, I, it didn't I, feel it did not feel malicious. No, it didn't feel malicious, but it did feel it did feel a little mean-spirited, if you will. It did yeah. feel it did feel like like I'm gonna make these boys dance for me yeah. because I can. Yeah. And yeah, um, little did the spirit know we were having the time of our oh, lives. Oh, just, just, just like you know, it's like, you know, keep it coming, baby, keep yeah, it coming. Like, we're we're in the groove like, now. Dance, this is my favorite song. <laughs> here we go, here we go now, here we go now, here we go now. I mean, it was crazy, but what an amazing experience it was. Uh, and and, uh, and with that being said, we want to thank everybody here for watching mm -hmm. Old Spirits tonight. Thank you very much for joining us on this journey with the historic Fauquier County Jail. If you want to know more about what we do, by all means, drop us a comment, like and subscribe, and enable those notifications because they really help us out here at Old Spirits Investigations. We couldn't wrap this episode without reminding you that we at Old Spirits are fortunate to be Ghost Stop affiliates. So if you saw gear in this episode that you're interested in picking up for yourself, like the spike as a great example, click the link in the description and make that purchase and we'll get a little kickback. So thanks again for joining us. From all of us here at Old Spirits, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.